I'm Rose, a nurse at Innova. For the past seven years, Innova has been the backbone to my success. At Innova, we are for nurses like Rose. We provide support nurses deserve both in and out of the workplace. From tuition assistance to support from colleagues and leaders and the experience I've gained throughout my career, Innova has been the perfect place for me. At Innova, our nurses are valued, heard, and empowered. We are for you. Visit Innova.org slash join. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you for those of you that have. And let's get into this conversation. Now, I'm just getting a op- getting the opportunity to really talk about this situation. So I'm not going to talk about it very long because so many people have talked about this viral story where Kim Burrell made some comments that a lot of people saw as offensive and then she pretty much came out to apologize in a way with a statement if it offended anyone but warning those who were speaking about the situation that this may be pretty uh dangerous for them because she is not going to stand for her character being defamed or tolerate harassment or slander of any kind or you know the fact that she felt that people were trying to make humor out uh, what she was calling humor make it out to be something that was malicious but people who were offended by what she said they stood in that and they also took offense to this apology slash statement warning people (laughs) that they were in some defamatory territory and so after that she came out with an apology where she was saying you know she's she's really sorry but in a way she threw her attorney under the bus because she said you know this was a statement that my attorney wrote but your attorney let's be clear let's just be clear i don't care who you are attorneys work by retainer and they do the jobs that they are paid to do very rare are they going to be doing this pro bono and they're not going to do anything that you as a client are not one paying them to do or asking them if it is okay for them to do it and then they write up the statement you review it okay here we go Let's approve it. I know I've been there because I've had to have cease and desist letters sent out to not many, but to former employees over the years and, you know, in in different situations and never is anything sent out without me reviewing it and approving it. So she threw her attorney under the bus. Okay. With that. So that's why she came out and, you know, not that's why, but she came out after that written statement to have an apology on video and that's when she said that you know my attorney wrote that that that's something that my attorney did so she was pretty much throwing her attorney under the bus but let's just play a little small clip of what she said that offended people let's just kind of rewind it and then I'm going to move forward with my discussion before we get friends we have to do an interview how long have you been broke How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? <laughs> How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? <laughs> Do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. And it's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And, you know, we at church, thank God we're here. Those of us who are walking by faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so... We, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here and respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange right about now? Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other when y'all invite me to come to your church. I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe you got a little leftover from your PPP loan. <laughs> Prayer, praise, and power. You understand. Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. Amen. And so, you know, I I like coming here because 
the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told, you're just ugly? <laughs> no one likes to be told that. You know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just wanted to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. Y'all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. Uh, <laughs> I have a great personality. Okay, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. Daily I shall. Okay, I know I didn't show the video, but uh, the video, I, I saw it on an Instagram page called Ice Cream Convos, C-O-N-V-O-S underscore. So, but I'm sure it's it's all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to share my perspective and I'm just going to make this as brief as possible. Watching the video, hearing the things that she was saying, and myself being someone who is a business owner in the industry of beauty, I I think of what she was saying pretty much offending the majority of the people who were in the congregation or connected to people that may have some of the attributes that she was describing, people who may have been down on hard times and, and had some bills in someone else's name so that they could have their light, lights turned on because they had some issues in the past and their credit wasn't the greatest. So in order to not have to put down a hefty deposit or to not get services at all, this is something that they did. And it wasn't so much that it's someone that's crooked, but we know that no one is perfect. No one goes through life without some type of hard trial, whether it's in health or in finances or, you know, family, something we may go through an experience that's beyond our control. And she's pretty much offending the people who are her customers. Let's just, let's just put it out there because church is a business. Church is a business. These ministries, they are businesses. And she is offending the customers, the people that are going to quote unquote sow into her or give offerings or whatever they call it, the honorarium or whatever, that she would have been receiving to come there and perform. And at the as it's getting close to the end of the video, I'm assuming the, the people who are standing behind her are one, people who are in the congregation, but two, also on the praise and worship team, they call it, because they don't really have choirs anymore. And the woman, the facial expression that she has, she really was just looking like, I am so over this. Why won't this woman just stop this at this point? And... That's how I kind of felt, even though I just saw this woman's facial expression and how she was taking in what Kim Burrell was saying. It reminded me a lot of how some people have gone to a lot of businesses in the beauty industry, not just businesses in the beauty industry, but I'm just using that as an example because that is the industry that I have a lot of years of experience in. I don't get my nails done. I don't go to nail salons and get my nails done. It's not to say that I haven't been in them before. And a lot of the products and supplies that primarily African Americans are who a lot of the beauty supply stores, not the nail salons, because we know the nail salons over the years, they have expanded so much so that because if you if you know about what the nail salons really used to be about and where they used to be located many, many, many years ago back in the day, nail salons used to be in what we would call the hood. So you didn't really see Caucasian women going to these places to get their nails done because one, they were not in the most suitable, desirable areas. But over the years, they have expanded and grown and almost every shopping center has a nail salon in it. And they it, it's big business. But especially when you go to the beauty supply stores where they primarily sell the hair weaves and the wigs and the, the hair products that primarily African-American women use, and you go to these places, 
the treatment that you get and you receive from a lot of them is not very kind. It's not very warm and, and friendly, but they treat you as if you're just a buck. So come in here, get what you want, get get it, pay for it and get out. And the treatment is just not, it's, it's not deserving of someone who is spending their money in this person's business, patronizing their business. And I equate, Kim Burrell's behavior to that sort of situation. It's like, these are the people that are supporting you. These are the people that love you. They hold you up in high regard and you're offending a lot of them and you do it in a way where it's seeming like it's a joke or it's in jest, but you really mean it. It's how you really feel. It really is how you feel. It's not just a joke. And there have been things that have come out about Kimberell over the years about how her attitude is and she's just not a very friendly, nice person. And she has been postponed. I won't say she's been canceled before, but she has definitely been postponed because of some comments that came out that she made during a sermon where a lot of people got offended and a lot of people were in the LGBTQ community. And we know that if you want to really, really, really be in the industry of Hollywood, that's what a lot of it is. So how can you think that you can really grow and build in that by offending them? It doesn't really work that way. So I'm saying all of this to say that what I pulled from the Kim Burrell situation that went viral and so many people had their thoughts and opinions and feelings about it, it reminded me of how a lot of people will be customers of these businesses over and over again. Like I gave the example of the the beauty supply stores that are pro, you know predominantly owned and operated by those in the Asian community. I'm not going to say a specific because I don't I won't say they're all Vietnamese or Korean or whatever. I don't know. But predominantly it is owned and operated. A lot of them are in the Asian community. And a lot of the nail salons are as well here in the U.S. And a lot of people go to these businesses over and over again, and they don't feel inviting a warm atmosphere. They just, but they continue to go and they continue to support. And with Kim Burrell and her behavior and how she was acting when she was speaking, all of those things that a lot of people who go to church don't have it like that. A lot of them do. More likely than not, a lot, especially in the African-American community, they go to the church because they feel like it is a refuge. They feel like it is a safe place. They feel like it is a place where they can get hope because they are on, they they are in struggle times and hard, going through hard times and, and they're believing God for a breakthrough. They're believing God for relief and whatever. And you're sitting up there as a supposed woman of God and you are offending your clients because again church is a business and these people who are continuing to come and support they are your clients you may not see it that way you may not even speak of it that way but at the end of it all that really is the bottom line you're offending your clients and a lot of these people really kind of are like sheep so they'll continue to subject themselves to the trauma of being spoken about in derogatory ways or, you know, making jokes about them and things like that while she's sitting up there with her brand names and how much, you know, she spent for whatever she's wearing, her glasses, her dress, and, you know, whatever jewelry she may have worn or whatever. And it's just not right. It's just not right. You cannot expect to be truly successful in business when you are offending your clients. It just won't work that way. And I'm not saying that she's not doing well. I'm not saying that for a period of postponement, because again, I'm not saying that she's been canceled, but you may be postponed in some things. She could have definitely been bigger and greater, which is what I think she really, really genuinely wants. But because of how you are operating your business and how you're offending your clients, it just won't really go as far as it could have. So I just really wanted to share my thoughts on that perspective, where it involves Kim Burrell in the situation. Again, many people have shared their thoughts and ideas around the situation. And 
and I share mine. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So guys, I really appreciate you liking, commenting, and subscribing. Again, this is Beth, and I'm just being beautifully honest. Mary redeemed a $50,000 cash prize playing Chumba Casino online. I was only playing for fun, so winning was a dream come true. Chumba Casino is America's favorite free online social casino. You too could have the chance to win life-changing cash prizes. Absolutely anybody could be like Mary. Be like Mary. Log on to ChumboCasino.com and play for free now. No purchase necessary. Void or prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The voice in the preceding commercial was not the actual voice of the winner.